Hi, welcome to the Mike Page Doodle Club. I'm Mike Page, and today we're going to draw the one, the only, Kurt Russell. Uh, magnificent hair, best facial hair of all time, Kurt Russell. This will be a four or five part series. We're gonna break this uh, portrait down into multiple episodes. So um, you'll learn a little bit each week, and then stay tuned for the next episode. So we're gonna get right to it. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. I certainly did. Um, and just roll with it and do the best you can. Okay, so to start out, I'm going to kind of rough in the overall head shape. Um, his hairline is slightly angled, so I'm going to uh, imply that here. Um, and I'm going to do all of this kind of quickly. Um, and we can determine whether proportions are right or not as we go. And I'm drawing on an easel today, so it's going to be imperative that I remember that the proportions are going to look a little different than I would normally see them. So that'll be the sort of the overall head. And he's going to have a beard filling this in. And this will be his neck coming down. And I'm not going to worry too much about filling that stuff in quite yet. Now coming off of this will be his hair. Um, and in this, this photo is um, from Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. So his hair is going to be pretty long and flowing like Kurt Russell's hair typically is. So I'm just going to kind of block in um, the outline, make sure that I have things fairly right before I start uh, putting in detail. There's kind of two ways to go about drawing a portrait. Um, some people will start with small details in the face and work their way out. Um, admittedly, that's I will typically start with the eyes when I'm doing a portrait because I like to know that I got the eyes right before I put the time into the rest of it. Um, if I'm drawing a face and I get the eyes wrong, it doesn't matter how good the rest of it may or may not come out. If the eyes aren't right, the whole thing is not going to be good. Um, so I like to start with the eyes usually, and, and then I'll do this kind of stuff. But for this one, I'm going to start with the overall outline. We'll make sure that proportions are kind of right, and then we'll go from there. Um, and I think this would actually be a little bit wider here. And I'm not working with an eraser today, so every mark that I'm making will, will be visible in the final thing, uh, which is going to be one of the challenges here because I have to draw dark enough for it to show up on camera with the lights on, but also light enough that I'm not uh, going to ruin the end result. Uh, now that I have the face more or less uh, sketched in and blocked out. Uh, the next step would be to figure out where the eyes are going to go. Uh, if you're looking at a face head on from the, now this is going to be tricky because his hair is swept back and sort of a pompadour here, so it's coming up. But if you're looking at a, a face, uh, let's say a woman with a ponytail where her hair is pulled tight here, from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin, if you split the face in half there, that's where the eyes would go. Um, this is going to look slightly higher than the halfway point on, on this particular photo because of the angle of his head. He has his chin up a little bit. 
which is going to move the eyes a little bit higher. Um, if the chin was down, then the eyes would obviously look a little bit lower. Um, so just very lightly, I'm, I'm making a mark for where the eyes will be. And it's also important to know if this is the angle of the head and it's kind of cocked to the side slightly, then this line for the eyes needs to be perpendicular to that. So we've got one line like this and another line like that. And now halfway between the eyes and the bottom of the chin would be another mark for the bottom of the nose. And if you made another mark, uh, halfway would be the lips. Uh, Kurt Russell, because he has a beard, this is actually a terrible example because his beard is going to throw off where you think the bottom of his chin is. His chin probably actually stops about here. Um, so the line for his nose will be slightly higher and his mouth will be slightly higher. And now that we've got that stuff blocked in, I'm going to start with the eyes here. Um, if a face is looking straight towards you, the eyes are going to be one eye's distance apart. Um, so whatever size I'm making this eye, I'm going to want one space over the same size space over before I start the next eye. And Kurt Russell has very squinty eyes. We'll start kind of like that. Leave that one eye space over. This is something I always laughed when uh, when I was teaching camp. I would always explain that to kids, and they wouldn't believe me. And then I'd have I'd have kids walking around measuring their eye and then measuring across their nose, and then they believe you once they try it. But you might be sitting at home right now trying it out yourself because you don't believe it. But I bet it'll work. And I'm kind of forced to draw dark enough for the camera to pick it up, but my advice would be as you're sketching this stuff in, don't do any of these lines too dark. Um, it's better not to commit too early, and you can always make it darker later, but it's really hard to make it lighter. So we have that, and then I'll kind of loosely sketch in what the eyebrows should be doing. And it's always helpful to look for basic shapes as you're doing this. Um, so this eyebrow on the left is almost more rectangular, just sort of a rectangle here and then angled down. And same thing on this one, there's almost a rectangle right here and then coming down. Um, if you're l if drawing an eyebrow, just individual hairs like this, and you're just kind of winging it, that will usually show. Um, very few people just do this and draw an eyebrow and yes, it looks, it looks right. I usually find it easier to sketch in the shape lightly first and then, then add the detail after. All right, and I think now that we've got the basics of the face kind of uh, sketched in, we'll take a quick break there and uh, join next week for the continuation of this Kurt Russell portrait. Mm -hmm.